I fought to be right here where I'm at today. This was the first thing that I ever wanted to get. This is the first thing. Being on hormone therapy for over 20 years of my life now, what can I do to, 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 to complete this thing? I don't want to keep sticking and poking and peeling. It was time to make greater change. I was about eight or seven, and I noticed how my mom would leave certain shoes around and I would put my feet in them, and I was like, oh, I like the way they feel. And it was almost like one of those things where I just was doing a lot of sneaky things that nobody knew, and it was comfortable to me. I knew that I had to overcome a lot of different things that other people didn't have to overcome in my household. I had five brothers, one sister. At a point in my life when transitioning into who I wanted to be, they began to treat me different. It was really rough for me. My toothbrush couldn't be with the, the rest of the family. I had girlfriends just to keep things quiet so my brothers wouldn't look at me different. I grew up in Baltimore City. For anyone that is grown up in Baltimore or any inner city, it's rough when you're trying to be who you want to be. You have your neighbors, you have certain family members that is very cruel to the lifestyle. And I was attacked in Baltimore. If I was put on witness protection, it all was over a simple just walk to the store for orange juice. My mom, before she passed, she told me, baby, this city is trying to hurt my baby. I want you to go ahead on and live your life and be the best and be happy at what you're doing. If you're going through or trying to go through this procedure or what like to go through this procedure, it's gonna be ups and downs. You're gonna face obstacles and you're, you're not done until you're done. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you? Oh, I'm so glad that we could make this work for Thursday. Absolutely. Gender-affirming surgeries are surgeries that better align a patient's physical characteristics with their gender identity. When Pamela came to me, she was she was quite ready to have this surgery done, and we were able to get everything kind of taken care of and got her scheduled, um, you know, relatively quickly. All the feelings that you feel before surgery ranging from positive to negative, yeah. nervous, anxious, excited, I went through it all. scared. <laughs> all of that is totally normal. Yeah. Um, it would My relationship with Dr. Douglas is wonderful. She was so young and bubbly, and I was just like, oh, wow, this is the doctor. <laughs> and she was so beautiful. She was so sweet. She was so kind. And from that point on, I felt so comfortable to share with her. Do you have any questions in particular about the surgery? I know you've read and I know you watch videos. Nothing will quite explain what you're going to feel in those moments. Yeah. That's the moment that I'm waiting for. <laughs> I'm yeah. smiling under my mask. Yeah. <laughs> And thank you again, Dr. Douglas. Yeah, I really appreciate everything that you yeah, do. Yeah. Because it changes people's lives. It really does. It changed my life. I'm excited. Somebody's popping on here. So let me fix this side over here. Well, I'll be in the hospital for about a week. I'm just packing up some comfortable clothes. After a week, I come home and I recover and I'll just, I'll be on my merry little way here. <laughs> Ready to go. Wish me luck, guys. Okay. Oh, 
I have a clear mind going into surgery and I'm excited about waking up and being here and doing what I had to do to get to this point in my life. I did it. I did it. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations. Thank you. Today is the day. I know. Everything is going to be great. Everything is going to be perfect. You will wake up and be a whole new person. I can't wait. Okay. Thank you. All right, cousin. I love you too. I love you too. So you're going to see Dr. Douglas and you're going to see the anesthesiologist. Everyone's going to come in, ask you a bunch of questions, answer all of your questions. Okay. Make sure you're comfortable with everything. You're the most important person today. It's your surgery, your body. So we're with Dr. Douglas. We're doing the vaginoplasty, scrotoplasty, the skin graft, and we're doing everything. I do everything. Yep. Oh. <laughs> when you read it out there, it's, it's like, oh. <laughs> it's like a lot of stuff. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. Good. Any last minute questions, concerns? Girl, I'm just ready to get this <laughs> over. <laughs> So there are there is a whole team who are committed to your care. And I'm really excited for everyone to meet you because yeah. I think <laughs> you're gonna have no problems making friends. I have no doubt. Yes. <laughs> I'll see you soon, okay? Okay. This is a really special day for Pamela. She is prepared. She has been waiting for this for a long time. She's done all of her homework. She did all the reading, meet all the requirements for surgery. She's ready. She's been ready for this. Pamela had a vaginoplasty performed and she did great. She's had great outcomes. Surgery was smooth. She had a smooth recovery in the hospital. It was actually her birthday when she was recovering in the hospital and the nursing staff loved her. So for her 40th birthday, they brought her cake, they brought her balloons, they decorated her entire room. And that also happened to be the day that we did our dressing takedown. In many ways, it was her 40th birthday, but also her first birthday. I cried during a happy birthday song. I cried, <laughs> I think I cried maybe after the view, because I was so excited to see what it was looking like, because I have heard so many different stories. The most exciting part was that I was able to wake up on my 40th birthday and become the new woman that I am today. Having patients tell me that how life-changing and life-saving this surgery has been is, is so incredibly rewarding and it's really special to be a part of such an important time in our patients' lives. I felt very comfortable with everyone I came across. The nurses, the, the, the care providers, everyone has did a marvelous job at Temple Health. Two days strong at the hospital, feeling great. I'm eager to share what's going on with me and to the world because someone is battling with this. We have lost 
plenty of people in this community who just did not know what to do, where to turn to. You can overcome anything in your life that you would like to overcome. I've never been this happy ever in my life. I can go into my 40s with a whole new direction. I worked for many years to conquer this hurdle. I know furthermore, my mom is looking down on me and just saying, go girl, you did it. To complete it at my 40th, it's, it's almost like a dream come true.